Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today's video is about supplemental geography in homeschool. So we are using the Blossom and Root curriculum, and it does have a geography component, but it's a pretty small piece of that curriculum. And we wanted to include a little bit more about geography. And so these are some of the things that we have incorporated to supplement to the geography lessons. The first is Atlas Crates by KiwiCo. Um, so we have just started getting the subscription. It's a monthly subscription and they send you a box each month. Um, the first one had, uh, they put together a little book and it has um, facts about each continent. It also came with a map um, that we have hanging up on our wall. And it came with um, a globe that we put together. And so that is one thing that we have been doing. Um, now we do have um, a couple of the crates that we haven't opened yet um, for specific countries. And it looks like that each comes with a game and a craft. Um, and then information about that country. So those are looking interesting and is something that we can do to um, be a little bit more hands-on with our geography lessons. Another one similarly comes, I want to say, I think they said 10 a year. I'm not sure if it's 10 a year or if it's um, monthly, but this is the highlights top secret adventures. And I honestly didn't know exactly what to expect, but it's way more than what I thought. So it has a um, activity book and most of these are things like there's a maze and then to know which direction to go, you look up information in the book on the country that has a ton of that information in there. Um, it's got uh, puzzles and um, other visual things, uh, hidden picture type things. And what you do is that as you go through each activity that you finish gives you clues to mark off who was it, what did they steal, and then where can it be found? And once we solve it, then there's an answer page at the very back to check to see that you got it all right. Um, the book is really, um, let me turn it this way, uh, got a lot of um, good pictures, um, information in it um, that is a good uh, level of reading. We're third grade, fourth grade reading level. Um, so that has been super interesting and of course like the first one came with like a key ring and um a passport so when we finish we get to put a sticker in there and as we get other ones um we'll get to build to that and the kids super enjoying playing like um uh like they're a top secret agent um on a spy mission so if you've got kids that want to be spies, that might be a really fun way to get them to read and do some of those puzzle activities. The other thing, I was looking around for games and I hadn't really found um, some geography games that we had locally. Um, I can get online and start looking there, um, but my mom was cleaning out my old bedroom and found um, this game on assignment with National Geographic. And this was, um, I had to look it up. And this was a 1990 game. Um, and it looks interesting, although I do have to say that uh, some of the country information is gonna be a little bit out of date, but it's got a huge world map there. And the idea let me grab it here, is that you have these photo cards. Let's hold it right side up. You've got photo cards um, from various places around the world. And on the back, they have, ooh, let's see, there we go. They have some clues. And the goal is that you're trying to figure out from the picture 
the right side up. There we go. From the picture and the clues um, where that is. And if you get it correct, you get to put it in your portfolio and you're supposed to find like six different types of pictures. Um, so we haven't played this one yet. I just got it in the mail from my mom um, today, uh, but it looks like it'll be fun. And again, that geography piece, um, there are some things that are gonna be out of date. So we're gonna try and, um, you know, fill in that information and provide maybe a little bit of history on why those countries aren't called that anymore or why the borders have shifted or whatnot. But, you know, I think overall a lot of it should be the same. So those are three different ways that we are supplementing geography in our homeschool. And please let me know if there are other activities or games that you have found that really play into that geography piece and making it um, meaningful for your learner. Thanks.